Assalamu alaikum. It is currently Friday. I'm running super late for Jumma. Uh, in fact, I have to get take an Uber where normally I would just walk. It's very cold. Uh, I hurt my back last night while sleeping. Somehow, I don't know how or what. But yeah, I really need to go. So yeah, let's let's go. I don't know why I'm rambling, man. I'm stressed. Also, before I go, uh, yesterday was a snowstorm, so everything was covered in snow, which is sick. Not really. I have a few things to update you on in a bit. For now, man's got a rush. Rush. Hello, mate. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm just going around the corner. I just missed. Now that I've had a moment to like, like I finished praying and I've had a moment to warm up, now I'm walking home. I feel like I can reflect on everything that's happened today. Firstly, I slept funny so I hurt my back and because of that I ended up waking up late then by the time I got ready I realized there's not enough time to walk so decided to take an uber then when I got here I made it just in time but um, I uh, missed out on uh, finding a space inside so I prayed outside Oof. luckily the Imam, he said, if there's people praying outside, he'll make the Jamaat a little short. That was very kind of him. But uh, it was still very cold just standing there. Alhamdulillah, I prayed Jamaat. Now I'm walking home. It's uh, snowing a little bit. You probably can't see it. I hate the snow. <laughs> this stuff's fine when it's over there. When it's over here, it becomes a problem. It can also be over there. And it can be over there. <laughs> Just don't be here. It's actually really funny. I wanted to demonstrate how icy the road can get. But it seems I've walked past all the icy bit. And now I'm at the bit that was like salted and taken care of. It's Friday. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful day. I'm uh, considering ordering some food. There's a place called uh, East Meets West, like meat, not like meeting someone, but like meat, like chicken, <laughs> cow. <laughs> so uh, there, it's a sandwich place. It had really good reviews. I'm thinking of ordering that, see if it's any good. I uh, also have some more work to do, some packing to do. I think tonight I might be meeting my friend, but knowing my friend, he's gonna cancel and I'm going to be at home playing video games which I'm not against either because like I'm quite tired nice relaxed day would be great actually it's really windy I don't know if you can hear me but it's days like today I wish I had a car oh man inshallah when I move to Vancouver I'll look into it but owning a car in Canada can be very expensive as well so you gotta be smart about it you know the temperature itself isn't too bad like it's only minus one sec no oh, it's only zero it's the wind man the wind makes it feel like right now it makes it feel like minus six and it's just like sharp it's pinchy no, i don't like it it's so man i need another beard trim i think i'll do it myself this time Although I have to go uh, back for another meeting on Monday. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Just did some dishes once I got home. And uh, I always rinse my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher because I don't want like bits of food to get stuck in the dishwasher. That just sounds inconvenient. And also I'm gonna make some coffee right now because I haven't eaten yet today. I'm a little hungry and the place I wanted to order from is actually still closed for another for another 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna have some coffee right now. Then once it's open, I'll order from it. 
I'll get some really tasty sandwiches, inshallah. I hope they're tasty. I don't know. I've never had them. I have meals right now in the fridge from the meal company I order. Uh, I, I, I order from, but I don't feel like having rice right now. I feel like having a sandwich. Also, I don't know if I ever mentioned, but the water in this building tastes absolutely atrocious. It tastes like metal. And so I always use a burrito filter, which I don't know if it actually does anything, but it does uh, take away the taste, the metal taste. So, oh no, why have I done that? And because it takes away the metal taste, I'm all for it. I feel like I've done really well with these things because I've almost finished them. I only have three left. After I have this one, there'll be only two left. And, and I won't be wasting these. So, yeah. Also, I can now confirm that the best before date on this was uh, is March 2024, uh, which is like now, basically. Just based on that, I'm doing a good job here. I have two weekends left, basically, till I move, which is kind of stressful because it still feels like there's so much packing to do. Today, I'm going to take these lights, these filming lights, and put them in the box. Where's the box? Oh, there's the box right, right there. Is that going to make a huge difference? No. But is it going to give me some peace of mind? A little bit. Other than that, I'm still wondering why I'm doing these vlogs. Don't really have an answer, but I know I'm enjoying them. And I guess that's all that matters because I, I, I really am enjoying them. I'm not even doing them every day. I'm just doing them every whenever I feel like it or whenever I have a day that I feel like I can film and there'll be something to that day. It's not just me sitting at my desk doing work all day. I don't feel like it's taking over my life either, you know? I, it's not even like I'm acting as if it's been like years or months. I, it's been like a, a week, a couple weeks, a few weeks. I don't even know. Maybe a month. I actually don't even know. Maybe it's been two weeks. It doesn't matter. It's, it's irrelevant. I still haven't edited a single one of these either. Fun fact, that building right there right that building had an apartment that building had an apartment which was bigger than this one cheaper than this one the building had no construction everything was complete gym pool entertainment room everything and i was promised it like the landlord basically said like it's yours just come view it and you know confirm by the end of day and i went to view it and i confirmed and the landlord goes, oh, sorry, I already gave it to someone else this afternoon. I'm sitting there like, bro, what? And this was two days before my previous lease was to expire. So I had to move out in two days and I had no place to live. And uh, like my realtor, bless her heart, she's amazing. Uh, she found this place and the landlord uh, was willing to give me the place it's really messed up i had to pay six months of rent in advance and it's really expensive and when i came to view the place the one time before signing it was very foggy outside and because it was foggy i didn't see that the balcony was incomplete and i didn't even bother checking like all the amenities listed on the lease that like oh there's a gym and this and that I didn't bother going to check it because every other place I had seen already had those places open. So I just assumed, oh, it's on the lease. It must be in the, it must be there, you know? And I was desperate at that point. And because of that, I signed the lease, moved in here, and I ended up in a situation where I was pretty miserable in this place. Like, very expensive place. On top of that, nothing was available. On top of that, there was a lot of constant construction noise, which was very... You know, it's one thing like, oh, one afternoon of just hearing drills, but every waking, like, every business hour, hearing drills and noise was just, like, too much. Uh, to the point where uh, I literally left, like, any chance I got, I left this place. I went to... Vancouver to visit my sisters. I went back to Dubai to see my parents. I went to Karachi to see my grandparents. Like any opportunity I got to leave this place, I did because it was driving me insane. It it definitely is or was or is one of my like bigger regrets, mainly because it was so expensive. 
if it was two thirds of what I had to pay, maybe I would have put up with it a bit more. But the fact that I was paying so much, it really just felt bad, you know, because money is not easy to come by. It's very difficult to earn. And, you know, people work very hard for their money. I can especially say, like, I see my parents, they work extremely hard for their money. And so, like, I really do have an appreciation for the value of a dollar. And it just, it felt bad, you know, in this place. And uh, it's going to feel bad for a while, even after I leave. So, you know, next place, inshallah, will be better. Uh, definitely more affordable. I won't be panicking getting a place this time, inshallah. Inshallah, I'll make better choices. That got so deep for no reason. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll keep that in the vlog. If I do, then, you know, great. If I don't, then great. <laughs> anyway, my kettle's boiled. Let's make some coffee. All right, some water. The rest I'm going to put milk, inshallah, just because I feel like having a creamier coffee. Oh yeah, that's the spot. I was just getting up to uh, pray Asr and I got an email from this building saying, oh, by the way, the garbage chute will be unavailable for four days. I'm not particularly like, I don't have that much garbage at any point in time, but four days of not being able to throw away garbage is gonna be a disaster. So yeah, that should be interesting. You know, considering this building has, considering this building has around like 70 floors, uh, each floor probably has like, I want to say 100 apartments. So that's like, you know, a lot of people and a lot of garbage that's going to be thrown away on the fifth day when it opens. And it's going to be terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this management in this building hasn't been my favorite, but... It's also a new development and it's a new company making these buildings. So maybe with time, they'll figure it out. I just thought that was so funny. Like just casually send out an email that, oh, in four days from now, the garbage chute will be unavailable for four days. It's mad. Let's pray. Also, my food's on its way. So yeah, package has been secured. Oh. Why is it so small? I ordered two sandwiches. Where are they? <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Let's have a look. Ooh, all right. I got two sandwiches, by the way. I don't remember what I got, but I got two sandwiches. Okay, that one looks pretty. Let me bring it closer. It's a little messy, but that looks decent, you know? It smells pretty good, too. It's got, uh, it's probably roast beef, you know? And then this one should be uh lean chicken breast Ooh, hold on hold on whoa oh okay all right i'm gonna take a bite of each and let you know how i feel about it one thing i will say is this was quite expensive actually just the sandwiches before tax came to like 27 canadian which is quite a lot of money for two sandwiches and in the reviews it also did mention that it's quite pricey i also got probably the uber tax uber eats tax because when you get stuff delivered here it's typically more expensive than if you went to the restaurant not just like delivery fee and all but um the actual price of the item typically is more expensive at least from my experience but i don't have a car so this is the only way i was going to get this food <laughs> bismillah this is the chicken okay so that's pretty good high quality chicken not much more to it though like you could buy the bread isn't anything special in my opinion it just tastes like multi-grain bread and the chicken like slices as well is tastes like normal like zabiha chicken slices i say normal it tastes a little bit better but i don't know if the sandwich is worth 12 dollars. and then the other one i have more hope for this one because look at it this is the roast beef one i believe Mm. oh boy okay 
That one is amazing. That one I think was $15. That one is an awesome sandwich. Roast beef, high quality, bacon, crunchy. The bread isn't like soggy. It all just works really well. I got pretty much everything on there that they have mustard, special sauce, mayo, pickles, lettuce. Yeah, works really well. I love it. That's awesome. That's a great sandwich. If I had a car, I would go there and get that one sandwich. But because it was the first time I was trying it, I wanted to try like two things at least just to see what the quality was like. And I'm pretty happy with that. I wouldn't get the lean chicken breast one again, but I would get the roast beef one again. Awesome. All right. I uh, had half of each. Actually interesting. The roast beef one became a little saltier the more I ate it. So I didn't enjoy it as much. And the lean chicken one became a bit more flavorful as I went through it. So overall, I enjoyed both. Would I get both again? No, it's too expensive. But if I had a car, I would go there. I'd get one sandwich for myself for sure. Maybe they had a, they had a club sandwich which had both <laughs> roast beef and chicken in it. So that might be worth a try at some point. But other than that, I got to do some work now. I've prayed Asr and eaten food and prayed Juma and... Yeah, sun's probably going to go down in a couple hours. Until then, I need to do some work. <laughs> I've been playing some video games with my friend because I didn't end up going out. Uh, and now I'm going to do a bit of packing because I've been playing for like two hours. I also need to pray Isha. The zone just happened. I'm feeling very sleepy, which is weird because uh, I had a second cup of coffee. But I'm still feeling sleepy. So I'm assuming... It's because I am either A, tired, or B, feeling warm. Uh, although it's very cold, and I don't feel like my heater's doing enough right now. But I've got my shawl on, and the shawl's, like, nice and toasty, bro. This is the shawl. Alhamdulillah, man. Thank you, mother, for this shawl. And, uh, yeah, now I'm trying to figure out what do I want to pack. Maybe I'll pack those lights I was discussing. And I still need to pack all the bathroom stuff. Oh, I could also, like, deal with all the black marks on the wall. That would be a shout as well. <sighs> Gotta get some blood flowing though. I've been sitting for like an hour. <sighs> the thing is, yeah, because it's Friday. I both want to like get, I need to get these packing things done. But I also want to relax because it's Friday and I've been working most of the week. I don't even have my TV anymore to distract me. That's kind of a good thing, but also a sad thing. I like being distracted sometimes. But well, before I do anything else, I would like some hot chocolate. By the way, this, this hot chocolate, best hot chocolate in the world. Hands down. You used to be able to get them in the Emirates Lounge in uh, Dubai. And I would often steal, maybe like, allegedly steal, 8 to 10 packets every time I went. But in the last, like, year or so, they've stopped showing up. I have a feeling they don't, <laughs> they don't, uh supply them anymore in the lounge because I kept stealing them, uh, allegedly stealing them. Uh, I don't know where to buy these. I googled them and they used to be available online, but now they're not. And it's really sad because these are amazing, man. Before I make my hot chocolate though, I'm going to pack away my lights because I need to feel like I did something productive today. And I think this is going to be it. These lights pretty decent although i've noticed that they've started to like hurt my eyes i don't know why i don't know if it's like a placebo or if it's just my eyes like maybe i'm just an old person with old person eyes or i don't know what the deal is but it's starting to become a little irritating on the eyes so i don't always have them on they're really great for filming, but that's kind of it, really. I had them in my office, though, as, like, lights for the room. Uh, I would not recommend this, because realistically, you should have softer lights for the room. These should be more of, like, a, oh, I'm filming kind of lights. But they're pretty good. They weren't too expensive, but... I actually find most of the time that I don't need them because I just don't film that much. Maybe I will in the future. They were a good investment. Like now that I have these, I don't ever, I don't need any more, you know? I don't need any Elgato key lights or any 
of those like uh, what, what are they called i can't think of what it's called something 100d mark 5 man it's the really expensive lights i forgot what they're called i don't need any of those like these to do the job really well i'm not like a filmmaker filmmaker i just like making videos and when i first moved here i thought oh i really need these and like blah 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 i thought i was gonna do all these like crazy like films and skits and i mean as you can see none of that actually ended up happening but i have used them they do come in handy i think when i bought them four years ago they were relatively affordable i think they still are i wouldn't know because because i have these i just don't keep up to date on like the what's available you know actually i find that i do that with a lot of stuff like if you asked me six months ago i would have known everything about every current laptop on the market but then i bought a new laptop uh for work and since then i have not kept up to date the extent of my knowledge is that uh, apple released their vr ar headset all i know is that's really expensive and i have no desire like it'd be cool to use it if someone gave me one for free sure but other than that i don't want it i don't need it it's the same with like at one point i was looking at gaming laptops because i really wanted a gaming laptop because i was playing a lot of games um now i don't because <laughs> i don't have time for games and i'm content with what i have so there was a time where i would know about all the latest cpus and gpus and the ram and like storage and blah 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 but now i don't know anything like <laughs> i frankly don't care it can be very easy to like fall into this trap of like oh i need the latest and greatest stuff but most of the time you don't you know there was a time where i would get the latest phone every year partly because i wanted the latest thing partly because i wanted to impress the people around me the best part about that was i wouldn't even buy it with my own money i'd ask my parents and they'd be kind enough to you know get it for me which is not what you should be doing by the way should not be going to your parents for everything especially when you're like me who was in their like early 20s at the time that was just dumb i think right now i'm at a point where i don't really ask my parents for anything although they still do so much for me they do so so much for me now i'm just waiting for the day in Chandra where where the tables can turn and I can do everything for them, inshallah. It's going to take a lot of hard work and effort and time. But I believe that, you know, if I keep working hard, working towards something, I keep making dua, then I will get there and my parents will be at a point where they don't have to worry about anything. And I can take care of them like they've taken care of me my whole life. That was so deep for no reason, man. I'm just trying to pack away some lights. But yeah, these are the stands that come with the lights. They're pretty, um, what's the word? Universal. They're pretty universal because I have a green screen set as well. Don't ask. Uh, it also looks like this. Like the stands look like this. I think what I learned after I bought the green screen stuff and back uh, these lights, like you really don't need like fancy stuff. It's amazing how well uh, cheaper stuff can do. You can make a green screen with literally a green like shower curtain. And you can just keep it up somewhere with like clips and like sticks. You don't need like an actual green screen. The only point those kind of things benefit you is when you're doing like, you're actually making money from it and you're doing like professional work and time is of the essence. Maybe you go through a lot of shoots per day. So you need to make sure that you're optimized on your time. Because at that point, time is money. But if you're doing this like 
for yourself you're not really making money from it i wouldn't recommend going through i wouldn't recommend going to like buy a hundred dollar green screen there's just no point save your money spend it wisely you know spend it where it's important right spend it on equipment won't make you better because if you just started and you don't know anything then having the best computer on the market is not going to make a difference having the best equipment is not going to make a difference what will make a difference is you working on yourself so if you have money uh to spend but you already have like an okay laptop or equipment for whatever you're trying to do i wouldn't recommend jumping to spending any money made or any money you can put together straight into like more equipment improve yourself get the most out of what you have first invest in yourself in the sense like go to classes learn something go go networking do something like that like throwing money at a problem is not always the solution and i think you find that to be like especially true in like creative fields where often throwing money at a problem ends up just giving you expensive garbage in creative fields you actually get more out of your work or product when you maximize what you have already i don't know why i'm talking about this i don't know what light stands do to me like i'm talking about my parents and i'm talking about like tips and trick like life lessons on what to do if you i don't know what i'm doing next. Maybe that's the other thing to talk about. No one knows what they're really doing. They just kind of do stuff and hope for the best. You'll be shocked at how true that is with most people, especially like when you're a kid, you're like your parents know everything. And when you grow up a bit, you're like, oh yeah, my parents knew a lot, but they're just kind of working it out. Same as you. I'm sorry for the long rant. I'm going to go make some hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And... I can now close this and that's technically one more box closed which makes me feel pretty good all right man's doing the dishes and i'm not making hot chocolate by the way i have opted out because i'm sleepy i'm gonna go to sleep inshallah i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching love is